And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're going to take a look at Cartoona. Now I did a paid preview for Cartoona when I was on Kickstarter, so keep that in mind, although I will of course give you my honest opinion. Cartoona is a game about building funny, cool looking cartoon creatures. It, in the game box itself, it's, it talks about an adult game and a kid's game, but really what it's saying is there's, this is a family game and a kid's game. This is not a game I don't know that I would ever sit around and play with adults, but for family and kids, that's the style. Now, now, my kids aren't with me today to do this review. They have a very high opinion of the game, uh, and you can go see their opinion. We did a, When I did a preview, I did another preview with uh, my girls, and so they gave their honest opinion in that one, and so you can go watch that. But let's take a look at the game, the published version now, and see what's in it. In this game, you're going to be putting different creatures together that have ears and that have bodies and feet and, you know, faces and faces with a nose. And there's all sorts of different pieces and they're really thick tiles. I mean, these are really uh, good quality tiles. And so as the game progresses, you're going to build different uh, monsters. There's actually monsters that are just one tile. You can take these out if you don't like randomness, and I would very much recommend that you do so. But you can have, you know, really small creatures, like for example, see this guy, he's just ears, a head, and a body. Or maybe creatures that are a little bit bigger than that. Now we're going to add a nose to this guy here. That is a nose for sure. And then you can go all the way up to the larger size creatures that have a back legs and a front legs and a front part, a back part, a tail, a head, a nose, and ears. And so you have all that together and makes a very, that's, this is the biggest size creature you can get. Now when you finish a creature, you're going to get points equal to the value of that creature. So this is 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You might notice that there is an F and a B on the leg, just so you remember which legs are front and which ones are back. And you can't do weird things, at least in this version of the game. You can't put like a head on the tail. That's not possible. They're not the right size anyway. Now you can go for trying to get one that's all the same colors. So let's say, for example, I put together uh, this one here. And it's all yellow. Well, because it's all yellow, I'm going to get extra points, double points actually. That's 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. This one's worth 28 points. In the game, and you can play the game by yourself or with teammates, each player is going to have a handful of five tiles, and they're also going to have some cards that they're going to play. On your turn, you can play a card and you can play a tile. When you completely finish a creature, you'll stack that creature up put it aside and continue on. Uh, you can also get rid of, there's ways to get rid of tiles. And so when all the tiles are gone, you reshuffle them and you'll keep going till somebody gets 50 points. Tiles can have a variety of effects when you play them. For example, this one, you can swap a tile in your hand for a tile and play, or steal a tile and play and put it in your hand. You can play these, uh, play this on any magenta tile, which is minus two points to another player, or play on a tile that has three arms, three eyes, or two arms, or play on a tile with a collar, udder, or beak. And these these cards will give you points when that creature scores. Things that let you discard your tiles and draw new ones, or cards that act as if they are a body part, like this free tail, or this which changes the color of a tile in play. Or this lets you play a set of back feet and the front feet, or vice versa. Or you just have a card that lets you block someone else's cards. And there's all sorts of things that you can do with the different cards. Lots of different point cards, lots of different swap cards, cards that you finish a creature if you don't have the missing tile, etc. And barring that, that's kind of like the full version of the game. You have all these tiles that you can use and you can create creatures with them and you can just do it for fun. In fact, the game comes with a sheet of, you know, like make an all magenta creature or make a cross-eyed or a three-eyed creature. And you can play that with kids and just have them uh, have fun. And I should also mention that you do not need to uh, keep these tiles in your hand. You do have these very big shields that not only allow you to keep your tiles behind them, but they also show you all the different tiles in the game so you know that if a certain body part is even possible, should you even be trying to get that body part in the game. 
And earlier I said that you store your tiles, you actually discard them once you score them because you have this thing here to keep track of your score. You pick a color and you'll keep track of the score that you uh, do as the game goes by and this somewhat confusing scoring track. When you make a scoring track, you should make it confusing. I mean, you follow the numbers, but this one's a little busy for my taste. But it is what it is and it's a way to keep track of the points. There's a little bit more than that. The rule book almost seems too complex for what it is. What I mean is the rule book's like, well, you can connect this to this and not this to this and I'm thinking, who cares? Does it really matter? Are there people out there who are that frenzied over how the game plays? Uh, you're just connecting creatures and having fun doing it. Um, and the, you know, uh, as I said in the beginning, this isn't a game I would ever sit around my gaming group and play, but it's certainly a game I could play with my family. I think the tiles are very high quality. The way they fit together is super fun. It's really cool to see all the different creatures. It's a, not Dr. Seuss, but it's close to a Dr. Seuss vibe. In fact, a Dr. Seuss theme would fit so great on this. Um, but it, it has that cool feature to it. There's one big negative. I mean, I mentioned the scoreboard that's, that's minor, but the big negative is that, that the different colors themselves don't have some sort of pattern in the background so that you can tell the difference between magenta and, and, and blue and yellow. Now, they're not that easily mixed up for folks who are colorblind, but still, that's there. It's, I, I would have added a different pattern to differentiate between them also. Um, I think it's great. The artwork is real clean and simple, so it's easy to put together. It's easy to differenti differentiate between the back and the front. If anything, I might have added even more silly stuff, although there's a little mini expansion that you can get, heads on tails and long necks. Uh, that adds more fun to the game. But this is a game I think that the best use for it almost is not the game, but to give it to younger children and let them put together different creatures and see what they can make. And on that regard, Cartoona is an A-plus winner. As a game, it's okay. You're, you put out tiles, you see how big you get your creature, because if you don't finish your creature before the game ends, it doesn't score any points, and that can be kind of a bummer. Uh, but yeah, other than that, there's not a lot of strategy. You just play the cards and steal stuff from other people and do points, etc. See what happens. It's kind of like a mild take that style game. But as a children's tool to build cool monsters and inspire creativity amongst kids, that I'll give it a huge thumbs up for. Anyway, that's Cartoona. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.